So the last type that we're going to go ahead and look at is we're going to go ahead and deal with the um, unknown sign. So if we don't know the angle that we're actually needing to go ahead and fire at. So same concepts, initial velocity, gravitational acceleration, fixed on uh, Earth's gravity, x distance, okay, we'll need to know that, but the firing angle. And in this case, we know that two times theta, okay, it's going to be important to recognize that that two theta is often going to be staying together. We need to use arc uh, sign, okay, so we're putting in a ratio and we're having the calculator go ahead and do this. And this is a point where it's possible that you're going to have some errors on the calculator if you don't enter this correctly. So in terms of our calculations, okay, in this case, VI equals 12 meters per second. We know that gravity is staying constant at negative 9.82 meters per second squared. We know that X equals 12.7 meters. Okay? And we know that the theta is going to be the unknown value. Okay? Now calculation-wise, okay, and you gotta make sure you're paying attention to the formula here, that two times theta is a easy point of error. Okay? So two times theta equals sine negative one, the arc sine, of negative, negative 9.82 meters per second squared times x, okay, so we know that's 12.7 meters. All of that is going to be over velocity squared, squared which is 12 meters per second, and all of that is getting squared. So, simplifying it down a little bit, 2 times theta equals sine of negative 1 over, well, sine negative 1 of 9.82 times 12.7 meters squared over second squared. And that's going to be, when we square that, 12 times 12, you may remember 144 meters squared over second squared. Units cancel out, okay? which means when we're getting it into the calculator, okay, 2 times theta equals sine negative 1 of 9.82 times 12.7 over 144. And if you really want to, you could go ahead and divide both sides by 2. Okay. So we'll see about doing that. Okay. So 2's go ahead and cancel out. And we're left with basically theta equals sine of negative 1, okay, the arc sine, of all our values divided by 2. So calculator-wise, we go ahead and enter it in as arc sine of 9.82 times 12.7 divided by 144. And then we divide all of that by 2. And when we enter that, okay, our theta. is basically 30 degrees, okay? So when we actually run that in the simulator, okay, we set the cannon to a 30 degree angle with the initial speeds of 12 meters per second, and we find out that, that basically the math checks out, okay? So the unknown, or well, the, uh, the known x value, 12.7, is equivalent effectively of 12.71. Okay. So again, when you're dealing with calculations and uh, the simulator, and you guys will be using the simulator and the, uh, the assignments attached to this, um, be aware that there will be some rounding variations, but they should not be too significant.
Okay, that's why I usually have you guys try and solve to two decimal places. In this case, we know that that's effectively getting rounded off to whatever that one decimal point is. So, a lot of material in here. Definitely a longer video, uh, or at least sequence of videos. And um, hopefully this gives you an idea of how to go ahead and approach this. So, definitely take advantage of the, uh, the software. Do make sure that you're actually writing out your equations, because simplifying it down, seeing where those errors are, keeping track of those units will help make sure that you get the right calculations and uh, hopefully you'll be able to solve the puzzles in the assignment. So good luck and if you have questions as always make sure you let me know.